Hi everyone, it's like my cutie, and yesterday I posted a status on Facebook that was talking about um, making a video today um, because I was going through my makeup, which there's not a lot of, but um, I was looking for a certain mascara that I use noticed it was gone, so I started kind of rummaging through my makeup, and I noticed that like, a lot of it was like missing, like I didn't know where it was, or it was expired, or it was empty, and um, for the expired stuff especially, it was just, I was like, really? Ew, gross, that's, that's disgusting. And I mean, it had expired obviously because I had not been using it. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to go buy some new stuff to replace the stuff that was missing or empty or expired, which is pretty much everything, I think, except for my eyeliner, which I bought a new one of anyway. So, um, kind of had a bit, um, bit of an expensive day at the store, at the market in regards to makeup, because we all know that's not cheap, especially if you want, like, the good stuff that's not gonna kill your skin, I guess, so, um, oh, I, I meant to address this question, uh, someone, I can't remember who exactly, but someone inboxed me asking what I do to keep my skin, um, nice, and, uh, let me, hold on, because I'm on my computer right now, and I left a window open, so I'm just going to exit out of it. There we go. Okay, sorry. It was making a bunch of noise, and I can hear it in my headset. I'm sorry. But anyway, someone uh, inboxed me and asked what I do to keep my skin looking nice. Um, uh, I don't do anything really. Um, I, my skin is rather pale, but no matter what time of the year it is, I always have like this, uh, olive sort of like tanned look to it. Um, except on the underside you can see it's really pale, but on the top it's usually always dark. Um, all I do is, you know, I spend quite a bit of time in the sun, and I, I do wear sunblock, uh, and I put lotion on my skin a lot, especially my arms, because they're always out and exposed to the elements, and then like, in the shower, I just use like exfoliating body washes, but with the really, really tiny exfoliating granules, because the bigger ones really hurt my skin, so I use the smaller ones. And then someone also asked if I shaved my arms, which is probably one of the more weird things I've been asked. I guess it's not really that weird in, in the girl world, but um, answer to that, no, I don't shave my arms. I just don't have any hair on them. I don't know if that's a blessing or a, a, a curse, I'm not really sure. Um, but I, I just, I've never had anything on there. They've always been very bare, I guess. <laughs> so, I hope I answered those questions for whoever was asking, because that I don't really remember who it was, so sorry. <laughs> um, but I hope I answered your question. Um, I'll get on to my makeup now. So I think in one of my videos, I um, was using this as my nail polish thing. Uh, I actually found a place in my bathroom to store them all. So I just put all my makeup in here so I could have it accessible while I'm doing this video. Okay. So the first thing, excuse me, that's different is um, I just bought this, I think I bought it two days ago. No, uh, like, like a week ago actually now. Um, Maybe it was a couple days ago, I don't know. I bought it recently. Let's just say that. 
um, it's a new product from Garnier, and um, it's a Skin Renew Dark Spot Corrector for dark spots, age spots, and acne marks. Um, the I don't use this for the age marks, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, but I have a lot of dark spots from being out in the sun constantly as a kid. I was always outside, and even to this day I'm always outside because I'm always riding my horses. So, I have some dark spots, and then, um, I have kind of bad acne, and not all the time, but like, when I get a breakout, it's really bad, and it's not, it's never like all over my face, it's usually just in like, like patches, like in certain spots it'll just be like really broken out, so I've got some acne scars, and um, I kept it in the box because I wanted to be able to explain to you what it is, I'll just show you. just in a little green um, tube, like this, and um, the top just unscrews. I'm not gonna unscrew it because sometimes the stuff starts, like the lotion starts coming out, and then I have to put it on my face, and I don't want to do that right now, because I only use it once a day, like right before bed, after my shower. But, um, basically, it's, it, it addresses the problems of dark spots, and then even skin tone. Um, from, like, a lot of different things, and, um, it says that it reduces the appearance of dark spots caused by aging, repeated environmental exposure, hormonal fluctuations, and even past acne damage. So, most of mine is for past acne damage and sun exposure. <laughs> um, it says instant results is that your skin looks brighter and even more toned, and then in four weeks, you can see um, the discolorations and the spots fade, and then it says in eight weeks, so two months, um, size and intensity of spots are diminished. Um, it does, um, it, uh, the first time I used it, it did, my skin honestly looked really great afterwards, so I'm kind of hoping that I can see those results, the four to eight week results on my skin, because honestly nothing else has worked. We'll see, but, um, I guess it'd be a good thing for somebody else, or one of my other subscribers to try. Um, all it is is vitamin C. It's like a high dose of vitamin C. I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff in it, too, but, um, I use a lot of Garnier products, especially, like, for my hair, and that I've never had a problem with them, so, um, it's like, like I said, obviously there's other things in it, but it's mostly just pure vitamin C and so it helps out your skin. So, that's one thing I'm using. This is my facial scrub. It's a clean and clear, deep action exfoliating scrub. It gently exfoliates to clean deep down to the pores. It's by Johnson & Johnson. This is honestly one of my favorite uh, facial washes because like the beads are really small and um, like here I'll just show you a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but it's really small and it's, it's blue. The beads are really small. Honestly, it feels just like a little bit of sugar, and, um, it, it's very, like, it doesn't hurt to push it on my face, and I can use this daily, and it smells really good. Honestly, it smells like a bit of blueberries, but, um, the thing that I like about this is that when it's, when I'm massaging my face with it, um, I can, like, feel the, it cooling my face, and it feels really good. Nice and cooling, and it, uh, my skin felt really soft afterwards. So I use this because um, it removes makeup as well. So um, 
I mostly use this at night before bed, and then about an hour later I'll put the Skin Renew from the Garnier on. So, I woke up, and my skin feels nice and soft, and then when I wake up I just kind of rinse my face with water and a little, like, mild soap. These are my two foundations. Um, they're both by, oops, they're both by Neutrogena. Um, this one I use all year long, and it's a skin clearing mineral powder. And all it is, it's just a pressed powder. Just a little pressed powder. It's very lightweight. Um, the bottom is just a mirror and the little puff pad that I don't actually use because I buy my own. Um, but I use this all year long, and I'm sorry if you just can hear all the cars driving by right now. I live out in the middle of nowhere, but occasionally we have tractors that go by because they're tilling their fields and stuff around here. So, I use this all year long. It's just like a set of pressed powder and it helps with them, um, at least it says it does, and then it, it has been for me, it helps with um, acne. It kind of helps keep it down, because it's not oily or anything, it's just a powder. And it, my, like, my face doesn't feel clogged when I use this, it doesn't feel cakey, it just feels really light. Then the next one I use, um, and I use this one, like, all the time in the summer, this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Compact Makeup, and the reason I use this one it, is it has um, the Helioplex Broad Spectrum SPF uh, 55, so that, um, I haven't opened it yet, I can try and open it right now, but um, basically it's, it's foundation, but it has um, the skin clearing stuff that this one does. But it also has a sunblock in it. And I know that might make it sound like it's really heavy, but it's really not. It's very light. It looks like a pressed powder, but it's not. It's actually like... Like a cream. Like a cream-based thing in it. It smells really good, actually. It smells like a little bit of sunblock. And then like a nice vanilla thing. But I really like this too, it's very light on your skin. So if you guys are looking for a good, um, like, all year compact, and it comes in a bunch of different shades. This one is 60 Natural Beige. Um, I, I can pretty much wear this one all year long, because it, it goes with my skin, my facial skin tone all year long. And then this one, like I said, I use mostly in the summer because of the, um, sunblock. But it has the same thing, just a little pad and a mirror down here. And then, oops, I'm sorry, mirror right here. And then the makeup right here. These are kind of expensive. They're about, well, I guess it's not that expensive compared to some other makeups, but they're about eight dollars each. But they're really nice for my skin. And that's just my skin. I'm not saying it's going to work like that for everyone, but it might be a good thing to try. Okay. This is a liquid foundation that I use. It's Almay Clear Complexion Blemish Heal. And it's called, it's number three. I think there's only three colors. And this is 300. This is Naked. Um, but this is supposed to also help with dark spots. So if I've got like a, or an acne mark, so, um, if I've got like a really bad acne, um, breakout going on, I will put a little bit, and it's just a liquid foundation, I'll just put a tiny bit, just a little liquid, I'll put a tiny bit on my finger, and just rub it into the, um, the acne blemish. 
and I will wear it right underneath one of those Neutrogena uh, compacts. And you can't even tell, it, it blends into your skin tone really good. There's only three colors, like I said, there's a very pale one, this one, and then a really dark one. And honestly, it just blends right into your skin tone, it's really nice. So, and it's pretty light, um, although I don't use it across my whole face, I just use it right where there's an acne blemish. And then I put on my normal foundation. Um, my eyeshadows. I, I have these in every video because I constantly use the same two. I just bought this one yesterday. Um, this one I've had for a month or two. But I always buy the same colors. This is my neutral palette. Um, it's just a pinky color with a dark brown and a light. And then this is my other one. It, this one's more of my like going out one. It has purple, then a dark green, and then a lighter green. Um, if you can get a nice look at the color, it's pretty. Um, they're both, you can tell more on this one. This one's a bit more shimmery. So it's neutral, but it'll still shine, so it still looks like I've got something on my eyes. That's when I actually wear eyeshadow. I don't, I don't wear eyeshadow, like, all the time. Take a drink of my water. I've been dealing with a bit of a dry throat. This is something I just started using, um, it's called Club Mud Red Clay Mask. It's from a spa that I go to every now and then called Glen Ivy. Um, I think you might be able to order these online, <coughs> not really sure, but um, you can order them online. And then all this is, <coughs> is it's just red, like, it looks like putty, but it's actually clay. I'm not going to dip my finger into it because it'll make a mess. And what you do is you put it on your skin, like a mask. Usually on your arms, or on your legs, or on your neck, your shoulders. And you rub it on, and you let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you go take your shower, or just wash it off. And what you do is you rub, like, vigorously. And it exfoliates your skin. There's no, there's no bumpy or exfoliating beads in it. It's just like a smooth cream. But you just exfoliate your skin, then you rinse it off, and it actually leaves your skin feeling pretty, like pretty soft and nice. But you only use that like, like once or twice a week, maybe. I don't even use it twice a week. I think, I, I think I just use it once a week. Um. I don't know why this, oh, I think it's in there because I just saw it on my sink. Um, I painted my nails last night. Um, like an Easter color. I just bought this yesterday. I thought it was pretty. So, I don't know why that's in there. That's not part of my normal thing. Last two, three things, excuse me. Um, this is a new mascara that I bought last week. I'm trying out, because I normally always stick to Maybelline, uh, Maybelline products. This one is by CoverGirl, and it's the new Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. Um, I really, really like this one so far. It has, I'll show you, the brush, it, it's curved a little bit, and it has a puffy center. And, um, it's like a, like, it's not like your typical mascara. <laughs> it's like a little bit of a liquid. And it works so nice. Like, really nice on your eyes. I really like it. Um, it's becoming like my new favorite as we speak. And then this is my eyeliner. It's Maybelline Define a Line. And it's blackish brown. I tried just a brown one once. Sorry, my throat's drying out again. Okay. I tried just a brown one. 
brown ones and um, it, it looked, it made my eyes look like they were ringed in red. It wasn't good at all. So this one is brownish black um, and it's got a little eraser here but I think I've only used that like twice but it's just, it's not a liquid, it's a crayon little one. Just a crayon. But um, it does a really nice job helping you get just like a perfect little line because I suck at using the line, the um, eyeliner brushes that come in your makeup kits. I can't use those. I'm terrible with them. <laughs> this is by far probably my favorite thing in my daily makeup thing. My daily makeup is usually just one of my foundations and a little mascara and that's it. Like I don't normally put on eyeshadow or eyeliner. I just have them for when I'm feeling kind of special. <laughs> um, but this I use every day and I love it. Um, it's, and you can order this stuff online so you guys know for all of my friends that are in like the UK or Canada or you know, Mexico or somewhere. Um, Burt's Bees. This stuff is amazing. It's incredible. I love it. And this is just a chapstick. Um, it's called Lip Shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of shimmery. It's just a lip balm, and it smells like peppermint. It's fantastic. It's, um, it's beeswax and, um, like a seed plant extract and a little bit of peppermint. And this stuff is so moisturizing. It's fantastic. I could, can I begin to describe it to you? If you live in the U.S. and you've never tried it, please try it. And if you live in the U.K. or something like that, order it. It's You'll fall in love with it. If you don't fall in love with what it does, like, you'll fall in love with it just for the smell. It smells divine. It's really great. It's kind of expensive. Like, I think this little tube was... This little tube of lip balm was four dollars, four or five dollars, but it works really well. Sorry. <laughs> and then these are just my little makeup rounds. I don't even, I haven't even, I haven't even opened them. I told you that I don't use the rounds that are in there. I know you can wash them, but I don't like using them. I like using a fresh round every couple of days. So, they're just little thin, squishy rounds. They're really soft, kind of stretchy. Sometimes, in a pinch, I will wash these with soap and warm water and use them again. But, um, they're really cheap and you get 12 in a package and they're like 99 cents. They're not very expensive at all. Um, and I don't know if you can hear that, but if you can, that roaring noise is a jet. They've been flying over my house all night. I did not sleep well last night because of them. So, um, but they're just latex free, um, hypoallergenic, professional grade, foamy things. Sometimes I just squish them. <laughs> you guys somewhat enjoyed this little video. Um, I was, I'm trying to plan something for the Easter holiday, I promise, but <laughs> I like to do crafts for holidays that really catch my eye, and for some reason, this Easter, like, nothing is catching my eye. Like, I know I could just dye Easter eggs, but let's be honest, everyone's dying Easter eggs. So I kind of wanted to do something that was a bit different, but like I said, nothing's really caught my eye and I don't want to just sit here and hash out the same old Easter egg dyeing thing that I normally would do. So I'm going to try and find something, but if I can't before Easter, I'll put something up next week. I do go back to school next week and um, I have class every single day which makes me kind of just want to, like, cry <laughs> right now. But, um, if I can't find something to post for an Easter craft before Easter, 
I will get something up as like a springtime craft next week. Um, also, I have a favor to ask. Um, show you real quick. I bought an orchid um, a couple of days ago. No, actually about a week ago. And it's still got some blooms on it right here that haven't bloomed yet, and it's got these really pretty ones. But, um, I haven't been able to get a hold of my grandmother, because, um, well, I, I, she's my grandma, but I call her my nan. Um, my nan's been really busy, so she hasn't gotten back to me. If anybody out there is, like, a horticulturist or, like, a really big person that's got a really good green thumb and is into, like, gardening and everything, can you please give me some tips on how to keep that thing alive and have it re like rebloom next year? Because I I've never been able to get one to bloom a second time. It'll live for a long time, but then it won't bloom again. So if anybody can give me some advice on how to keep that pretty flower alive and have it bloom again, I would really appreciate that. And I will make another video soon. Bye. Oh, and have a happy Easter.